chain the line. That's what you do. With Andrew, working with Anna, Georgie Scan. The international. Have people rehearsing one song. So we went to the moon. Two soldiers picking up. It's very cold. Yeah. has that sort of... It's caved on, you're always caved on. You might be surprised. He, um, he's always keen to, um, to... He, um, picks up things really, really quickly. I think he's changed since the aggression. Controlled aggression, like we could... Yeah, I was 12, now I'm 15. And, um, it's weird thing that it's taken up a fifth of my life. It affected, like, who we are in ways, and it's really cool. People have realised that my costume is the same colour as my horse. I think the emotions of melancholy, it is, it is a sense of loss. Because the challenges were bigger, I feel like we personally got there. Fill up the room and then grab. Despite being very um, intricate in itself, but you know, what was so effective about it was you know, almost so simple and so, so powerful in itself. You know, just standing in that room and looking at it all, you know, it looked incredible. And that was one thing that really stuck out for me. It was weird, because sometimes, you know, there's separate. We get done, <coughs> sorry. Pretty much, and playing around and pretend like we're acting and we're actually getting dumped. <laughs> because this is a very one. Okay. <laughs> so, what was your favorite part of the movie making process? Um, Blom Camp. And, um,. Stunts. Now, why is it that you didn't get to do a lot of physical stuff in the last film? Because I was a pansy, yes, we all get it. What's been your favourite scene to shoot? And Anything with me looking heroic. I don't know if we've shot any of those. Yes, we have, Andrew, yes, we have. What scenes have you got left to shoot? I don't know. What do I have left to shoot? It's for me when I look back now as of the first film, you know, not only when I look at myself, when I look at, you know, when I look at Georgie, you say, oh my god, like, you're both so small. <laughs> I guess it's, it's just like looking at sort of like old family photos or something, but sort of with a higher budget. <laughs> and I'll see you there more. How mm. was that for you? <laughs> <laughs> it was alright. I mean, they only actually moved it during takes, so the majority of the day was done pretty much still. They could so have no had a lot of fun sick. with that, though. They could have kind of <laughs> moved it whenever we were walking around, but they didn't, so it was uh, good. <laughs> health and safety, I think, yeah. <laughs> in a way of pranks. <laughs> It looks like it would have been a very physically demanding shoot because there is a lot of action in it too. I mean, was there any scenes there that were really challenging? Because I imagine all the sword play and stuff, you know, takes a lot of choreography and that kind of thing. Um, it was a big challenge. We had a really great stunt um, department, you know, led by Alan, Pop Alan Poppleton. He did a really great job. His motto was sort of go hard or go home. And we all sort of all, you know, he sort of, you know, worked us all up and we, um, we always sort of, you know, um, you know, eventually, you know, through, um, you know, either uh, being dragged along, you sort of got the results in the end. I wonder the franchise is going to continue, um, even without us, and we may come and do some small, um, small parts, you know, as, as adult the sort of success, or, um, you know, hopefully the success of this film, um, for them to determine whether it's financially feasible. I think we're... Oh, hey, hey that's not fair, you didn't tell me you did that! Yeah. Yeah. I told one of my friends, oh, you better get me a copy. It's free. I'm like, no. <laughs> it was incredible. Um, I remember we were driving up to it and um, just seeing it out there. On um, It's in, in Cleveland Point, you know, which is surrounding you know, by water, so you've got a perfect you know, horizon. And just seeing it standing out there, you know, you know behind everything was just incredible. And um, it was so beautifully made. And, um, you know, it's so incredible to think more, you know, all, you know, all the craftsmen who were working on it and, you know, the amount of attention to detail that was spent on this doing it for so long. After six years, I have to be so thankful for all this experience. It's been really, it's really helped me sort of in many aspects and it's, you know, I've really enjoyed it so much and it's really, um, it's sort of built my confidence in ways, um, you know, that I, you know, I'm now sort of more confident than I thought I could have been and um, it's really sort of given me, you know, the courage to you know, stand up and, and do certain things and to sort of take on, t on tasks. Um, which has been, you know, great, and you know, I you know, only wish everyone could have had that experience. And I'm so lucky that it's been me that's been given that opportunity. <laughs>